Hey everybody, welcome back to another boss battle video guide. We're gonna be taking on the Flame Lurker today. So, uh, there's really not too much strategy involved with the Flame Lurker. He's basically a giant flaming gorilla. Um, and he likes to bounce around the room a lot and do some damage with fire. So, uh, we're gonna use a sticky white slime to uh, enchant our axe with. And um, that'll help us do some magic damage, which is what he's weak to. Uh, we could use the Crescent Fla uh, Falchion, but the Axe at this point does a little bit more damage. And uh, we'll keep it enchanted so we do some chunky damage to him. So um, we're also going to have the purple Flame Shield on. That'll help us with our damage for fire negation. And uh, we're going to buff ourselves with Aqua Veil as well. And that'll uh, give us some more fire damage negation. Uh, as you can see, I'm level 50 right now. Definitely going for a strength build. And we're going to buff ourselves up with Aqua Veil here. We'll get our axe ready. And uh, we're going to head on in. And I'll let you watch the cutscene. And hopefully, my dogs stay quiet in the background this time. Because uh, they ruined my recording on the last uh, attempt. So, yeah, he's basically going to bust through here like the Kool Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's pissed, but I'll take care of him pretty easily for the most part. He does do some decent damage. Wouldn't worry too much about the actual fire itself, but you don't want to sit there and take shots from him. Definitely stay to the back of him. Um, there are points where he will attack, and you can get behind him and hit him with a combo, and you'll stagger lock him, so you'll be able to get like three or four good shots in without him being able to retaliate. I'll actually lock him up and I'll show you that right here. So that you can hit him a few times and stagger lock him. But yeah, definitely try to use the pillars for cover, stay behind him. Because he does pack a punch like that. But I mean all, all he's not too difficult. He's basically all damage, no brains. Stagger lock them. And then once, you know, you see yourself not doing as much damage, re uh, rebuff up your axe or whatever weapon you're using at this point. Oh, almost died there. Gotta heal myself up. That's about the closest I come in this to dying. But yeah, once he does that big ground pound, that's basically your shot at stagger locking them. There you go, see? I just wasn't, I guess, close enough to hit him with a few more, but... Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. Yeah, don't want to get hit with that. That just looks painful. There you have it. Dead to rights. Yeah, see? Not too tough. So, we'll get the trophy for him. We'll touch our arc stone and go back to the Nexus. And we'll lose our body and progress to the next boss. But I fucked up there and went back to the underground temple. Now we'll go to the Nexus. So, Yep, pretty straightforward fight. Just remember he's weak to magic. And uh, that's about it. I am grateful for you guys watching this, and I hope you guys are grateful for the uh, tutorial. Thanks a lot. <laughs>